Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. House Darklin, this time around. If you have not watched The Defiance of Duskendale, there will be a card on the screen, and I'll probably pin a comment so you can go watch that. But the long and short is... Lord Darklin rose up in rebellion against King Ares the Mad, imprisoning him, cutting off of his head, and going to war with King Rhaegar, ultimately rallying the Lords of the Realm to dismantle the Iron Throne. With the Seven Kingdoms fractured and the Targaryens clinging on to a couple of territories in the Crownlands, the dragon has basically tucked its tail between its legs and is hiding on Dragonstone. The Lords of Westeros declare themselves as independent kingdoms once again, and House Darklin rises from the ashes like some kind of edgy phoenix. They got themselves beaten up by the Dorondons, and then they got themselves beaten up by the River Lords, and y yeah, it's a whole, whole spiel. But decisive to say, the Darklins are free once again, claiming themselves as petty kings, and the rightful rulers of this land. We'll jump right into this, and uh, basically try to grab as much of the Crownlands as humanly possible before anybody else swoops in to bully us. <laughs> This war is far from over. Ironically, before the Defiance, the Darklands were one of the greatest supporters of House Targaryen. They were loyalists, through and through. To the point where they even changed their house banner to represent the uh, numerous members of House Darkland that became Kingsguard. We have undone this. It used to be like this, with the red and the white, uh, the white shields, but we have undone this because frankly, screw the Targaryens. Considering we just overthrew them, that's probably not something we want to stick with. So our first order of business as the Dusk Kings is to secure the crown lands for ourselves. They will not come willingly, so we're gonna have to do this via force. And we're probably gonna do it one region at a time because otherwise we're gonna get completely annihilated. Put the king in charge. I have a son! He did not get beautiful, but uh, it's better than nothing. What do we name him? John, after my grandfather. Yeah, John Darklin. Cradle by sickness, and of course, John is sickly. Great. Great stuff. Turn the tide, lads. They're really gonna come face- Okay, yeah, they, they just killed themselves, that's fine. This is fine. I am trying to make a claim on King's Landing as well, that's the thing I'm doing. The, uh, the Riverlands just claimed a section of territory. That's this is indeed what I was worried about. Because the longer I leave it, the more chance is that these territory is gonna get nabbed by other people. Which is not really what we want. Turn the tide. So Gawain, yeah, I need to grab this territory. The Riverlands stealing shit is not ideal. There you go. He becomes my vassal. And we don't really have any time. We have to immediately start pressing our advantage onto the nearby Stokesworth. Put the king in charge. And John died, son of a bitch. Uh, I might have to call in some allies for this. I have betrothed my sister to Renly Baratheon. Uh, I could just call Frey into the battle, actually. It cost me some prestige to do. I didn't really want to call Robert into the war just yet. But if I can get the Freys to come down and help me, that's something. How do they get fucking 10,000 men? What the hell, dude? Okay, never mind. We will call Robert into the war. Robert! Robert, dude. I need you, buddy. Frey's about to get his ass kicked if he's not fucking careful. Yes, all of King's Landing will be mine. Excellent stuff. I'm not going to get there in time. Pull back. Group up. Let the Freys come. Yeah, no, we got the feet. Jesus Christ. Where did they get 10,000 men from? Fucking Macy's Hook and Everywhere Under the Sun has come to help them. Thankfully, Robert Raffian will show up to turn the tide of the war. Hey, you're not so fucking happy now, are you, Macy? Now that I've got 20,000 men on my back. I was kind of hoping to save Robert from my war against the Targaryens in a minute, but uh, it'll do for now, I guess. All right, let's take Stokesworth and Robert can deal with the rest of these forces lingering around. Do you know who I am? Oh, God damn it! the fucking Riverlands have stolen more shit from me. There will be hell to pay for this. Mark my words. Yeah, this war has taken way too fucking long, so now the Riverlands has nicked a bunch of territory that I was going to have. So this this might last a bit longer than planned. There you go. Stokesworth bends the knee because they're dicks. We march north and deal with this freaking rebellious goddamn Caterbranch that I have rebelling against me. This is not the time, Caterbranch. You see what you've done? The river lords have taken some territory that rightfully belongs to Dusk of Dale, God damn it! Kill them. Oh, my wife's pregnant again, so that's at least... Ah, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Right, well, the good news is we grabbed that bunch of territory. The bad news is, uh, the Riverlands have taken two High Lord ships. Fucking Rosby and Hayford, because of that independence faction just screwed me over. So, I need to go give some land and titles to my cousins. Oh, uh, weirdly, uh, the Princess of the Stormlands is actually a hostage of Rhaegar. So that's potentially troublesome. 
Hopefully that still means that he can actually be called into the war. Yes, he can be. Arms, lads! The Dragon Menace must be dealt with. You might not be able to pull this off once that 2,000 men arrive. Can we pull this off? We might actually be able to pull this off without Baratheon. I'm pretty sure it's without Baratheon. Holy shit, Barristan sell me. He's still Kingsguard of Robert of uh, Rhaegar, that makes sense. Oh god, there's another 7k coming. Robert! Robert, get your ass up here, goddammit! Now we won, we won just at the end. Oh god, that's close. They've got more incoming, lads! Raffian is doing absolutely cool to help me. Inspiration. Someone to impress. Uh, my latest efforts have fallen flat. My friendship with Storm King Robert is standing on the shaky ground. Uh, I will dedicate the inspiration to Robert, yes, who is currently ill. Yes, please be my friend, Robert. Please do not abandon me to these people. Playing Siege the Dragonstone. I wonder if I can take some Targaryens captive. I wouldn't mind that. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck, Greyjoy? The fuck? Are the Greyjoys helping him? Yes. Well, I have a son, but I'm still pissed about this whole, you know, Greyjoy interference nonsense. It's Arthur's born, lads. Uh, why are the Greyjoys gotten involved in this? What the actual hell? Okay, let's look for, like, a new alliance that I can pull out of my ass. Uh, you can marry the kingdom- the princess of the Reach. It doesn't necessarily make any damn sense. Because why would the Reach ever agree to this? But screw you, uh, the Darklands need every bit of help that they can get right now, because apparently the Greyjoys... I'm gonna need all the help I can get, so... Mace, come help me. I need you against the Targaryens. The frickin' Greyjoys are getting involved in this for some goddamn forsaken reason. Why? Through marriage between the Prince... Holy hell! He married Asha Greyjoy! In order to, to beat us back and have it not lose King's Landing, Rhaegar marries Theon's sister. What the hell, dude? That's new. <laughs> oh. Shit me. Where the f is the Reach? The Reach is gonna be pre- is- Good lord, I'm gonna get fucked! Alright, get- go- go back down to King's Landing. And, annoyingly, the Gardeners are going to- Not the Gardeners, because they have the thing. I've been imprisoned. I've lost. I have actually lost. I have genuinely lost. Because the fucking Greyjoys got involved! Oh, that's so bad. He freed me for some reason. Oh, he- I was- Taken by Greyjoy, not by Rhaegar. Fuck me. Does that count as my once-in-a-lifetime thing that I got with him? Why? Literally AI being smart. Why? Why have you done this? I am not getting involved in frickin' Tyrell's war with the Lannisters. It's not happening. I don't give a shit about him. Well, that's just fucked my plans completely. What the hell, man? Also, Rhaegar executed Robert's daughter. Oh, by the way, I want to point that out. Rhaegar executed Robert's daughter. Good lord, I can't believe that just happened. Also, I'm now in crippling debt. Everything is coming up darkly. What? The st oh, the Starks are helping the Lannisters as well, because obviously Jaime is married to Lyanna. Holy hell, man. Of course, Arthur, my heir, didn't inherit any of the good traits, but my other son does. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name this kid Robert. Because uh, I want the st I want Robert Baratheon to stay my friend. We now have a shared like enemy. Yeah, we now have a shared enemy for life in Rhaegar. Like Rhaegar just murdered fucking yeah. Rhaegar just murdered this Robert's daughter. Good lord, I can't believe Greyjoy got involved, man. I cannot believe Greyjoy got involved. What the hell, dude? I can't declare war on anybody. I am just absolutely crippled. All my plans have grinded to a halt. Ha, well, we can't do anything until the money issue is dealt with. Let's. We, we literally can't do anything. The Trident is my ever enemy. I literally- I can't do anything. So we're basically just gonna have to skip ahead to whenever the hell we're out of debt, which just may not happen in this lifetime. To be honest with you. The, uh, the Duskendale's Rebellion has not gone exactly according to what I would, had planned. To be honest. Uh, Robert is declaring a war of revenge on Rhaegar, which I have no idea what the hell happens if they manage to win. It, it, it's a bit close for comfort, to be perfectly honest. Actually, what happens? Imprisons Rhaegar. All family members of Prince Rhaegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna he's gonna go after and kill Rhaegar, basically. Attach myself to Robert's army. Oh, are we gonna win? Can we win this? Will we have our justice? Oh god, I think he just killed my brother. Yep, my brother just died. 
Greyjoys have ruined everything, man. Everything is ruined because of House Greyjoy. I'm now incapable. Jesus Christ. It's the stress, lads. The stress has driven Dennis the Defiant after all this time. The stress has gotten to us. I can't believe this is the end of Dennis the Defiant, lads. Yep. Greyjoys have beaten him back. Maybe if I'd had forces down there, we could have changed the outcome of that, but... Holy hell, this is not going as I planned at all. The rock is further expanding into the reach and just... Fucking up everybody. And Robert loses his revenge... Against Rhaegar. I can't do any- I'm, I can't do anything. I'm incapable and in debt. Well, the good news is I'm almost out of debt. The bad news is Rhaegar is just laughing his ass off right now. Oh wait, he's not married to- he hasn't got Greyjoy support anymore. She died! Massey killed her. Excellent stuff. So Rhaegar no longer has the allies to call upon. Which means we might actually be able to kick his ass. For now at least, boys, we uh, we wait. Because there's not much else to do, honestly. We're uh, we're just waiting pretty much. King Dennis can't do shit because I'm just incapable. So we're just kind of waiting for Arthur's reign to begin, pretty much. Wait, what happened to Rhaegar? Drowned. <laughs> Rhaegar drowned, which puts his son Aegon in charge. Fire a Staunton girl. It's a damn shame I can't do anything about that, though, right now, because, uh, incapable. God damn it, that sucks. Why? Why am I incapable? Although I don't really want Arthur to take over until he's old enough to, uh, you know, do shit by himself. So, yeah. The king is dead. Long live the king. As King Arthur aims to succeed where his father failed miserably. Why does... Ah, oh, it's because it's this Grand Mayor, Montford of Riffenmark. Okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna take the war to Rhaegar. Well, Rhaegar's son, since Rhaegar drowned. We are going to call in our allies. Mainly, the Reach. I think, honestly, the Reach should be more than enough to deal with this. I am also allied with the Rock, but I don't think it's necessary to call them in. I can't help these guys before they get jumped. Nope. Well, never mind. The Rock has called me in as a defender against the Ironborn. I do hate the Ironborn. They are twats. And also against these guys. Bannister really likes calling in favors. Has the Riverlands got itself involved in this? Why has the Riverlands got itself involved in this? What is it with the Targaryens and suddenly getting... Wait, what? Oh, Aegon... Attacking River King of the Trident in Dragonstone to Jewel War. Really? The idiot! This is Viserys is doing. Viserys has very stupidly attacked the Trident in like a claim. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, that's their fault. I'm gonna go to Dragonstone. My allies should, should come over here and join me. Yes. Here's the Reach. The Reach has arrived. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of leave the Targaryen forces to get the shit beaten out of them over there. I have twin daughters. Okay. I was kind of hoping I'd have a son, but apparently not. Yeah, well, I'm just going to take Driftmark and a bunch of territories because uh, the Targaryens are over there, but they're vulnerable to the Reachmen, so I'm just going to leave the Reachmen fighting them, really. Are they fighting the Reachmen anymore? No. They did a white piece. Okay. Well, I'm going to take their territories, just to be safe. Right, two years ago, you promised me aid. Yet so far, have you done nothing to support me? Uh, you want some gold? I'm currently fighting my own thing, Lannister, not gonna lie, buddy. Go on, Daryl. Turn the tide, turn the tide, turn the tide. Jesus, that was too close for comfort right there. What happened to Hollard? Did the Hollards just die? I inherited the territory. Can you hear that noise, by the way? That is the sound of freaking Yennefer a bit underneath my desk. Chewing the antler. Uh, yeah, House Hollard just got wiped out. The last one died in battle. Damn. They were, they were forever my loyal, uh, loyal bannermen, and they just got whacked. But oh well, we now have the crown lands, boys. So victory is ours. I seize all of their territories. Can I demand a hostage? There are none to be had. Okay. Well, yoink. There you go. We now have King's Landing, which can be uh, my main territory. After that, I just have to take Dragonstone and also go fight the Trident a little bit. I'm also going to send troops over here just to go help Lannister out. Because technically speaking, look, Lannister, I'm helping. It's taking a billion years, but I look, I'm helping. Also, I should probably deal with my current... Uprising issue that I've got going on over here. Yennefer, could you eat that fucking thing literally anywhere else? Would be nice. Actually, these new vassals actually pretty much love me, to be fair. They're like, you freed us from the Targaryens. You freed us from the incest, baby. Uh, thank you. We are forever in your debt. Yennefer, seriously. Could you eat your norms somewhere else? Good girl. 
She grabs the antler, which keeps her busy, and is very good at keeping her busy, but also she eats it right underneath my shit. I'm just gonna attach to Lannister's army and then help him out. Uh, all Lannister's gonna lead me straight into an ambush and get me killed. The dude literally just, uh, like, let me die. He, he just, he just fucking led me, me to my death and abandoned me. Fuck you, Lannister. I'm going back home. Fuck you. Dude, he could have turned around and saved me there. He just decided not to. There you go, look. I involved myself in the war. You can't say that I didn't help. Alright, I'm, I'm just, I'm just disbanding, bitch. Fuck you, Lannister. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> literally the least helpful fucking Lannister in existence. I'm going back home to deal with my stuff. Thank you very much. Yennefer, she's come back underneath my desk to chew her antler. Yeah, I'm, I'm one above the domain limit, but uh, King's Landing is obviously going to be our capital moving forward. Uh, I can't attack Targaryen yet, at least. Next up, I could push for the Trident. They've only got 20k men, and then the Reach and everybody else does have more. Some Janos dude escaped. Whatever. Let's go to Prisoners and Ransom a bunch of them, shall we? My brother Robert's going to obviously be getting Duskendale, because I want a Darklin in charge of that stuff. Duh. Darkwood's already in charge of that, so it just doesn't matter to me, to be fair. Riker? Eh, I'll just leave it, because then we can have it afterwards for that. Sooner this damn war ends, and Yennefer stops chewing on a freaking antler so goddamn loud. How'd you so loud chewing on that antler in here? Yeah? She's looking at me like, what? What? Alright, well, the war is over. There we go. That took long enough. So now I can move the capital over to the Red Keep. And our next move, honestly, probably going up against the Trident. The Flaming Sword? Damn. That's a hell of a title uh, that Robert's kids got. Robert died fighting a battle, apparently. Yeah, honestly, next move is probably attacking the Tullys. I can't do the kingdom thing. I actually can't do that either. I don't have the... Well, I do, but I just don't have the uh, prestige cost. It is going to take me multiple wars to do as well, but I can eventually beat the crap out of the Tullys. It's going to take a while. So, yeah, uh, I can't do the duchy, but I can take... Duchy lands from them and just steal them from that way. So yeah, but yeah, the crown lands will be ours. And what I'll probably end up doing is even expanding to Harrenhal and Darry maybe and make that it. And then the trident can just be that. And we end up sort of splitting the trident down the middle between us, the mountain and the veil vale and everything else. That's the plan, boys. That's the plan. I also want to take Dragonstone and uh, make the Targaryens my bitches. <laughs> Thank you.